In this question, we're going to be doing a, a fractions uh, sum, and it's a non-calculator question. So this is how we do it. So it's three and a quarters minus one and two fifths. Okay, so without a calculator, the first thing you do is you need to turn these into top heavy fractions or improper fractions, okay? So in order to do that, so this three, three and one quarters turns into 13, uh, 13 over four. So the way I did that was three times four plus one makes 13, okay? And then that number goes at the top, so it's 13 over four. So three times four is 12, add one makes 13 all over four because that's what it's over, it's all under, all over four. And over here, we have one and two fifths. Okay, again, one times five plus two makes seven, so it's seven over five. So we've now rewritten this as 13 over four minus seven fifths, okay? And now, because we cannot minus these two together, because they have the same, uh, they don't have the same denominators, so that's a four and that's a five, we need to turn it into equivalent fractions. We need to find the equivalent fractions where they do have the same denominators. To do that, we need to find the lowest common multiple of four and five, which is 20. Okay, so four and five both go into 20. So our fractions, we need to turn them into fractions with 20 as the denominator. So we need to turn that into an equivalent fraction with 20 as the denominator, and that's how you do it. Okay, four goes into 25 times, so 13 times five, we needs to go at the top. Over this side, five goes into 24 times, so seven, you have to times by four as well. And if you do that, you will get 65 over 20, minus 28 over 20, so 65 over 20 was from here, and 28 over 20 was from there, okay? Now we can just minus these two things uh, from each other. You will get 37 over 20. Okay, and that is the answer. If you want to turn it back into a mixed number, it will be 1 and 17 over 20. Any questions, just leave them down in the comment section below.